How do I remove ghost alarms on my iPhone? Hello everyone. Today we're going to be discussing a peculiar issue some iPhone users may face, known as ghost alarms. These are alarms that seem to go off without being visible in your alarm list. If you're facing this issue, we're going to walk you through how to remove these ghost alarms from your iPhone. What are ghost alarms? Ghost alarms are alarms that sound off at their designated times but are not visible in your clock app's alarm list. They can be a bit annoying, especially if you can't locate them or turn them off the regular way. Checking the alarms list. The first step is to check your alarms list. Open the clock app on your iPhone, tap on alarm at the bottom of your screen and you'll see a list of all your alarms. You'll need to make sure that the alarm you're hearing isn't in this list. Checking bedtime and wake up alarms. If the alarm doesn't appear in your regular alarms list, it might be a part of your bedtime routine or wake up alarm. These are set in the health app on your iPhone. Open the health app, tap on sleep and then schedule and sleep goal. If you see any active alarm here, you can disable it. Resetting all settings. If you're still hearing the ghost alarm after checking these two areas, you may need to try resetting all settings on your iPhone. To do this, go to settings, then general, scroll down to reset and then tap on reset all settings. Please be aware that this will reset all your iPhone settings to default, but it will not delete your data or apps. Contacting Apple support. If none of these steps work, it might be time to contact Apple support. They can provide further assistance and possibly identify any software bugs that might be causing this issue. That concludes our guide on how to remove ghost alarms from your iPhone. We hope these steps help you eliminate any pesky alarms disrupting your schedule. Remember, the key is to systematically check all possibilities and then resort to resetting your settings if necessary. If all else fails, don't hesitate to contact Apple support. Happy troubleshooting!